Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Patrick from Vicious Computers and welcome to just a, a quick little demonstration video. Today I'm bringing you some very awesome news. This is like a really big, big deal and it's something I've been personally working on for a while. My solar journey as I got into solar power stuff, EcoFlow is kind of the first product I gravitated towards. Specifically what you're looking at right now is two of the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus units. I really thought these were a good buy for what I wanted at the time to replace my UPS units. You know, basically replacing batteries in my old UPSs was costing so much money and these last so much longer. It was like, why not replace UPSs with these? And that's kind of how the journey started. As I got into a proprietary lockdown environment, I run into the same issues that I always run into is that you have to start spending more money for less and you lose more flexibility and you know, the companies start controlling you and that's what happens here. So what I've been trying to do with EcoFlow is what you can do on certain other brands of power stations right now, which is quote unquote hack them for direct battery access. And I had bought the oscilloscope that you see on the right specifically so I could start monitoring the data signals that are sent through the proprietary connection, figure out what the data signal looked like when I actually had an extra battery hooked up reverse engineer that, and then find a way to do this. Somebody beat me to it, and I'm not upset at all because I'm definitely gonna put in the description the link to the Reddit thread that I found with this information. And then in that Reddit thread is links to the GitHub page where the real geniuses have already come together. So anyways, I have been talking about hacking these for a while, and if I post anything on the EcoFlow groups, generally I'm kind of like run out of there with torches and pitchforks because they hate it. They hate saving money or being smarter than the system. Um, you know, a lot of times they'll offer cheaper DIY options and then people just bash those options. Uh, depending on where you go though, you go to the DIY solar groups and people make fun of people who buy these things. You know, that's just how the world works. But when I said you can do it, and I know you can do it, I was laughed at. And they're like, resistance is futile. You can't get direct battery access. And today we're proving them wrong. So when they say resistance is futile, they didn't understand that we can buy <laughs> one kilo ohm resistors dun, 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 and fix everything. So let me explain what's going on. There's two Delta three um, plus units right now in front of us. The one on the left you can see is showing 52 volts. That's the voltage of the battery inside. We have direct access to that battery, which means now I can hook up a charge controller like that giant Victron MPPT right there. We can hook up, so let's say your Delta breaks, the inverter breaks. Now you can hook the battery of the Delta to a new inverter and still make use of it. Or say you want more solar because the built-in solar is not good enough or your solar charger breaks. Now you can hook an external charge controller to it. Uh, you can now have these participate as batteries inside of a larger battery bank. And one of the things I'm doing right now is I'm actually sending power to these from a large battery bank using the PV, the, the photovoltaic or the solar inputs. And that works really well, but there's an efficiency loss. But now, as long as I do it safely, I can hook up these directly by the battery and save even more electricity. So I'm just, um, like I said today, showing you a quick video because I want to get the news out there as fast as I can as I'm waiting on both the time to do a full video and the equipment. I've ordered uh, a big battery cable that I'm planning on taking apart and hacking to make a more permanent power cable. And I'll probably make my own temporary permanent uh, power cable as well. So I'm working on it. Um, but I figured today's demo would be kind of cool. Let's just try to do this in person. I just pulled one of the resistors. So this one's already done, 52.19 volts. Over here, you, don't, you probably can't see this on the camera, but it's like 17 millivolts pretty flat so today is not a guide on how to do this but the um the links in the description obviously will take you to the place where i found how to do it so you'll be able to find those those resources no problem well i can tell you it worked i need to change the settings on the oscilloscope because it just maxed it out you can see <laughs> see the line went straight to the top it's still measuring in millivolts but it's saying 800 plus millivolts and then it just dropped out so 
Yeah, I mean, just like that here. Uh, let's do it this way. I'll show you one here. Fifty two point five two volts on this one with the bypass. If we take the bypass out, and you start getting the, the random low voltage. So that's it. The bypass works, guys. It's actually very simple. I thought it was going to be more complicated to that. Now it's time to start putting it to use. So as I said, uh, when I get time, when my equipment gets here, just start doing the build and a little bit more time to record the videos that are necessary to show you how to do this safely. That's what I'll be working on is um, some really cool tutorials on this. So share the news. Uh, this is pretty awesome. And thank you for the community that uh, found the, the secret, the key to unlock this, because that means these things are now much more valuable to me. And I have less reason to go buy the other brands. I literally just bought the Blue Eddy Apex 300 and the DC adapter for it because it gives you a 50 amp Anderson plug that you get direct access to straight up with no hacks. Um, versus this where we're going to have to make our own and we're technically working it out of its normal intended operation. But hey, we got the option at least, so I'm going with it. Once again, this is uh, Patrick from Vicious Computers and I'll see you guys next time.